This, this is a little microcosm of, of what we have in the Harbor Islands. I didn't yet mention the native ash tree right here. So we've got a native tree in the understory, very unusual actually to, in the Harbor Islands to see something like that. We've got the, the common native shrub, we've got the invasive shrub, and another native shrub all in this, this you know, little 10 meter patch. This is the American cranberry bush or viburnum trilobum. Right next to it here we have the uh, common privet, the ligustrum species, uh, that's one of the non-native invasive species. Right next to that we have the non-native invasive uh, white poplar. Look at all those ants crawling around the leaves. Populus alba. If you uh, pan up you can see the flowering stalk of the staghorn sumac, the most uh, common native shrub on the islands. Back down here we have a, an ash tree, actually not sure which species, but it's got the uh, opposite leaves you can see here coming off the stalk in pairs. So that's a, a native tree species trying to make its way up into the canopy. Heading over here, everyone should know this is the native shrub and vine poison ivy or Toxicodendron diversilobum. It's harmful to many humans, but it also provides fruits of poison ivy are very high in oils, which is real good for energy for wildlife species. This mixed landscape of indigenous species um, that, had, that has been invaded and sort of um, uh, integrated with these naturalized invasive species is common in areas of the park that have been heavily disturbed. Uh, Fort Andrews was built around 1900 and that was probably the first big uh, you know, event that, that really mixed all the soil up and allowed the uh, first wave of invasive species to come in and uh, you know, grow up along with the native species that were able to survive.